Kylie and Jamie and we're Courageous Beauty and we're live and we're going to answer a question today and it's actually a really awesome question I was really excited to answer it when I saw it so we're going to read it now yes we are um, this is from Curious Cat by the way and this says I keep looking back at who I was a year ago I know I've changed a lot for the better but I wonder if I'm still a good friend and person to everyone I'm in a relationship with. I don't know if I'm making as many good memories as before. How do I make more memories without making it seem like I'm trying too hard? Oh my gosh, I love this question. I just love the heart of the person that is asking this question. Like, that they're taking the time to think about their how friendships and how and the they, relationships. they do and I don't know, we were, we're going to be talking about moments today in our Friday group, so like this just, it fit right along kind of with the same talk, like what, what how do I create more memories with my friends, how do I stay remaining like focused on improving those relationships and intimacy with those relationships in my life, and how do I do that without making it weird to my <laughs> friends? Because <laughs> like there's, there's a part of it that, you know, you can be a little bit too intentional, like I have to take pictures of everything we're doing, <laughs> yeah. and that can be annoying to friends but I just love it like I love thinking about moments in our life and thinking about you know it's, it's just mature to think about the impact that you're having on your friends and you know one of the, the big things about building intimacy in your friendships is making memories together so let's let's talk about this and I think like when you're looking back at all the memories and moments that you've had, you can be like, oh, this was a great moment because we laughed so much. This was a great moment because we had such a good conversation. This is such a great moment because we were just together. And so like, sometimes you try to imitate those moments by um, oh, finding see. those moments of laughter and things like that. We're trying to recreate it. Right, right. And honestly, in making more good memories, Oh, the big key is just to be genuine. Just and to be genuine. Present. Yes. Be present and genuine or authentic. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think we need to pressure ourselves with trying to have all the amazing moments in life and, like, I'm a failure if I miss a moment because what memories are is just, like, a, you capture that moment in time. Mm -hmm. And it's not our job to recreate the same memories over and over, like this makes me feel really good, I want to replicate this. It's just paying attention to the good things that are happening right here, right now. Mm -hmm. And you can capture those moments, like if you have a, a phone and you can capture it with video or with a camera, do that. But sometimes those are just things that you just keep in your heart and you remember and, and maybe remember through conversation or like, you remember when we did that thing? Oh yeah. <laughs> all the things <laughs> all the things but I mean it can be a very just private or personal thing mm -hmm. that you keep to yourself so like if you're going to be thinking ah, you know how do we make more memories just be present and aware of what's happening right now and the things that you appreciate the things that are special that bring you joy and just make an effort to remember them Mm -hmm. And you can do spontaneous things to your team, just randomly, hey, let's go do this. That's a great moment. That's a great memory. Mm -hmm. And that is showing effort to reach out and want to make moments and wanting to make memories. But you don't have to do that all the time. It doesn't always have to be a, I got to find this to do. I got to do this. We got to mm -hmm. go there. We got to do this. You can, if you have you, to come up with this perfect right, friend date. <laughs> right. If you're just with someone, just be with them. Yeah, just, just be, be with, with them. them. That's great. Yeah, and then the first part of this um, question that we got, I just appreciate, you know, they were looking back on their life and maybe it was this past year they were looking at, mm -hmm. I can't remember specifically the time period they gave, but they were just appreciating where they've come from and like recognizing, man, I've, I've grown, I've changed and it's it's been in a good way, but it does mean that my relationships today might look different than they did last year, mm -hmm. say. And that's not a bad thing. It 
it might be a different that you're not as comfortable with. Maybe some of those friendships have distanced or maybe some of those friendships have gotten closer or maybe there's still some friendships you, you wish were closer. Mm-hmm. And like being reflective of yourself, thinking like, am I still a good friend? I think that's an, always a good question to ask. But I would also encourage you not to put too much pressure on yourself. Mm-hmm. And probably the, the, it's the same answer for, you know, how you start to make more memories without being, um, I don't remember what word they used in the question. Trying too hard. Without trying too hard is, is really just to be present and aware of what's mm-hmm. happening now applies to this part as well. Like, am I still being a good friend? The best person that you can be is one who is present and aware of themselves as well as of the other person. Mm-hmm. And I'm hearing like when they're talking about um, the growth that they have experienced through the year, they said they've grown a lot through the year, something like that. It sounds like they're proud of that growth and yeah. good job. Let us be proud yeah. there with you because that's really great. But what she was saying, growing, um, building off of that, not putting pressure on yourself to continue to like always be the best person that you are strive for it but let the growth come to you if you're not seeing the growth it'll be there all right it's there's always something that you can work on and if in this moment of reflection you say "Mm, i don't really know what i'm working on right now it'll come around it'll come around just be patient with yourself as well Mm -hmm. because you always are growing even if you don't see it yeah Yeah, and honestly, sometimes we need a break from being growth monsters. (laughs) (laughs) True. You just have to be there for a bit. So we always want to be striving to to be better, do better, but also just rest in knowing that you are loved. What you have to offer this world is valuable and important, and you're you're valuable as 